Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Striker Break. How's everybody doing this afternoon? We got some good, 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 good today. Only the best at Striker Breaks. Before we get rolling, I got a couple packages to open. We're supposed to start at four, but it might be a little later than that. I would like to share the ripping experience with you. We'll start out with this. Welcome. Appreciate everybody for watching the last video. It's a, a huge hit. Everybody loves the Fanatics videos. Uh, what is this exactly? Hold on, I gotta preview this just in case. Oh, okay. L let's just check this out first, then I'll show you the, the letter portion, maybe. I don't know if he wants me to or not. It's an eBay purchase, I think. Better not be an encased K card. Ah, ha, ha, there she is. I don't know if anybody caught that, but I, I had to make a little post. I was going through the PC. I had the Legends in the Making blue and black for Acuna rookies, or uh, for Soto rookies, Otani rookies, and then I was missing the black Acuna, and I could not have that. So my guy here, Striker, thank you for the purchase. I enjoy all the great content you put out. What a pull on that Lawler auto, congrats. I hope you get that item to open more 2022 update. Always a fun rip. I appreciate you and the entertainment and insight you provide. Keep up the great work. Mac, it's cool that he knew who I was. I, I don't know. Like a lot of people on that I buy stuff from have, I assume, have no idea. I usually, don't put a little letter like that in. Next up, okay, this one is from Slater Sports Cards. He sent a big fly box. Wanted me to open it on the channel, so here we go www.slatersportscards.com Let's see what's in here. The big fly box. I remember opening one of these before. What's it all about? Well, March 2024 features a 2022 Bowman hobby. Okay, so that's good that there's hobby uh, hobby packs in here. Oh, 2002, not 2022, 2002 with Joe Maurer rookies, second year Pujols cards. Got it. 2019 Heritage High Number. That's a great set, and that's a hobby as well, I believe. Doesn't It says hits one out of 24, so it's got to be a hobby. We got Pete, Eloy, Vladdy, Nando rookies, 2020 Bowman Jumbo Pack. Whoa. Dominguez, Bobby, you're, yeah, that's a, that's a really good one too. 22 top script. Whoa. 22 Bowman hobby as well with Ellie's 24 series one jumbo. This is awesome. This is an, uh, an amazing checklist of packs in here. There's no cheapies. All good goods. Look at this. Usually in these boxes, people include some value packs put it that way where do we begin how about this 2019 heritage high number mr in fuego how are you jamie javier dave emma chrissy shaka justin we got so many in here tabletop geek anthony and dean everybody's in the house shout out little pre-rip vibes didn't get lucky in this pack, but let's just double check. There's no image. Got a high. It's just weird. All right. No image variations. I still haven't opened up case number two. I'm waiting on a couple of things to happen first. And it's actually, it's coming along quickly. So maybe, I don't know if we're going to do another break Friday. I don't know what the deal is with 
the archives release and inception they got pushed back a little bit we were supposed to have archives today archive signature series but we do not so that tells me it got pushed back and i looked and it said archives on the 20th now and bowman inception on the 22nd we got a manufactured relic commemorative stadium and these are numbered that's the 299 trey turner chris taylor gold foil willie mays gavin williams rookie Let's see if we got anything in here take that Jason Dominguez. Looks pretty centered, too. Pulled a gold Evan Carter. Nice, Jose. How are we feeling about a 101 today? Spectacular. 2022 Bowman. Is that a hobby pack? James Wood first. That's good. Couple of chromes. Let's we'll sleeve that up. He's getting some hype. We got to save this one. Sapphire. Let's try this. I've never opened a 20 or a 2002 Bowman. Open 2001 Bowman. But never 2002 that I can remember. Tactical Gamer, Charlie. Looking for a 101 Honus. Let's hope. James, shout out to you. Zito. Oh, we got Pujols. No way. How lucky is that? And Vladdy. There's some Hall of Famers going to be coming out of here. Look at that. Second year pool holes. And he's probably 30 there. Even though they wouldn't have you believe that. I like it. New addition to the collection. And Vlad. Vladdy Daddy. Jose Morgan, Sean Figgins. We got a little bit of brickage, but that's to be expected. When I opened up my, my 2001 Bowman, looking for Pujols, a lot of bricking. That's just a really thick card. Lots of bricking, chipping along the edges. But that's what happens with this stuff. A little bit of stickage. That's kind of why I, I don't open a lot of the glossy, older stuff. A lot of problems. There are ways around it a little bit. I've seen people put them in the freezer, put the packs in the freezer to prevent the sticking. But a, a big part of the problem is, what was it? Lack of humidity, I think. So if you actually put them and like a humidor or a, some kind of a humidifying situation. I saw one video where a guy put him in a Tupperware faced like this and put some water in the bottom and just like kept them off the water so they wouldn't get wet and the cards kind of came apart, got unbricked. I'm not recommending you do that. I'm just telling you something that I saw. CJ. Do we get an auto? Are we lucky enough to get an auto? There's three of them out of these. Xavier Edwards. No auto this time. Now for the Sapphire. Got a parallel. Turnbull, orange parallel could be huge. 
Tevin Kiermeyer. Barrios. I'll take that. Oranges to 25. Cool. Uh, let's get another look. The big fly box. And where was that available? SlaterSportsCards.com. Check it out. That's a that's a really nice box of packs. A really nice selection. Thanks for sending that to me, man. One more. It's a bigger box. This is something real good. But first, can you guess what it is in the chat? Whoever guesses closest, plenty of bonus points to be had. Plenty. Go ahead. Give it a guess. Be specific. Be very specific. I'm going to keep track. I'm going to look at you and find out who gets it the closest. If you watch the channel from time to time, I opened something like this. That's the only clue I'm going to give you. While we prepare. We'll talk to Jeff. Jeff was kind enough to drop an 11-11 Super Chat. Striker, have you pulled any 2024 Top Series 1 Home Run Derby Challenge cards? Oh, not the Home Run Challenge. The Home Run Derby Challenge. No. Bought 13,000 plus cards and pulled one. Tops Derby Duel. No, I think I've only pulled one, one or two ever since they've been doing that. But none this year. Good luck with it. That's sweet. I don't know what you win. What do you win? Is it a trip to the Home Run Derby or something? Next year's? It's something sweet. Chaka thinks it's a jersey. Liam says comics. Reggie, how are you? If you got any problems, Reggie, you know, just send me a DM on Patreon. I'll give you an early notice. Chia Pet, vintage. De La Cruz jersey. Chris is enjoying things. Thanks. Juan Soto Yankees jersey. You guys are just giving me really good ideas. Orioles hoodie. <laughs> you say lifelike mask. No, but I want everything you guys have said so far. 8 by 10 photos, shirt, and a hat, says Mr. Enfuego. Tom Brady Expos jersey. I already have one, Charlie. City Connect jersey. Otani jersey. Tops living set. LED. This is a big box. It's not from Tops. Liam, graded comic. Blacksmith breaks. What's in the comic? What's in the box? Pink underwear. Got it. How did you get, how did you guess that? Might as well show you now. I did have a Freudian slip there. It is a comic. All my comic book fans in the house will surely recognize this. Packed very well. You know, that's one thing about comic collectors, comic sellers on eBay. They ship these things better than anything else I've ever been shipped in my life. They, you can tell they appreciate, they appreciate the significance of what they're shipping. Like it's way overkill and it's perfect. Look at this. Keeps going and going. Oh, but what grade? Got a nine eight. Secret Wars number eight. First appearance of the black suit Spider Man. Oh, 
this is like one of those um i don't know bronze age keys that you have to have it is beautiful bright no scuffing the one one thing i noticed on these in particular because of the vivid cover and just so colorful that there can be some real subtle scuffing on some of these nine eights and nine sixes that you may not even recognize if you're not kind of looking at it under a fine tooth comb and man this one is about as perfect as you can get very significant comic one of the highest selling comics of its time all right well i don't know set this aside again and let's get to ripping okay we got break number one but first, I got some cards for sale auction style on eBay. They're going to be ending within a, they're different days, but the next couple days, if anybody has any interest, I'll drop a link to the eBay store. I'm going to sell one of these, the Aaron Judge historic to 99 actual piece of the base. First New York hitter with multiple three run home runs, three home run games in a season. I always say that wrong. Multi with multiple three home run games in a season. So that one's there. PSA 10, Topps Chrome 2023 Otani SP up for auction. Started them all at 99 cents. Red Logan O'Hoppy. On card, rookie auto. Numbered to 25. PSA 9 looks like a 10, in my opinion. Bobby Witt Jr. Gold, PSA 10. Rookie debut, number to 2022. Rookie debut, Julio, Sapphire, PSA 10. And the big boy, National Ellie de la Cruz, autograph to 25. PSA 10, gem mint, baby. Drop you a link, and then we'll get into it. I'm just going to give you a link to the eBay store, maybe, or should I give you a direct link to one of the cards? What would you prefer? How about a direct link to the Ellie? Shy City with a 13-month striker. Hope all is well. Good luck, everyone, today. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that, man. We can always use good vibes. All right, here, yeah, I'll just send you a link to the alley. Why not? Couple of them. Okay, we're ready. Three pack of retail. We'll go like this. Boom, boom, boom. Break number one. Yeah, how about Cole? Anybody bring that up yet? Gonna be out a couple months. Couple of months on the Cole injury. That's that's kind of devastating. But that's what happens when you have these superstar premium superstar talents that cost so much money. If they go down and you and like your whole team is kind of relying on that, big trouble. Scherzer Verlander. Mets know all about it. A lot of teams know all about it. Couldn't access the video. What break? Are you in the first one, Reggie? If you're in the first one, I have it pulled up. If you're not in the first... Oh, here you are. You got the race, Reggie. Tampa Bay. Chuck, what up? No, no, I didn't win this week. Crane took me out. Ace-King versus Nines. Classic race. I'll do it again, too. 
live and die by those pocket pairs. How about Merrill making the squad? Yeah, I. Yeah, that was pretty much inevitable. He's got to, man. They're pretty thin out there. Home run challenge, Lindor. Joe Ryan. Joe Ryan's got some new sauce this year. Some new sauce on his pitch selection. JB on the ride home listening to Striker Breaks. Yes. Don't forget to hit the like, folks. Garcia. The like is important. Blue. Jason Dominguez. Rafaela and a blue Nick Pavetta. Retail blue. But we've also got an aqua. Coco Montez. Let's hope we get a numbered card out of here. We're just going to be running Fanatics boxes because I think it's the best value. So we're going to run Fanatics boxes for a little while from Series 1. Soon enough, we'll get some new releases. We've got a lot coming out. Like, it went from where are the new releases to Archive Signature Series on the 20th, Bowman Inception on the 22nd, Big League on the 27th, Heritage April 10th, and Bowman May 8th. So those are the upcoming releases. We're going to have plenty of that kind of stuff. Plenty of new 2024 products. Father and son rips on the way to umpire some high school baseball. It's here. And the weather's nice too. I don't know about where you guys are at, but it's nice here. Rookie Aqua Priester. Jaron Duran, rainbow foil. So we got retail blue, rainbow foil, lots of aquas, but nothing numbered out of that box. What were we going to do next? This one? So we're going to be working our way up today. This first break is kind of a normal break, a lot of good stuff, but we're going to keep upgrading a little bit more value in this break. Break number two is going to be featuring some gilded, box of gilded. And break number three, definitive and friends. Triple Threads or Museum? I haven't heard anything about it. Well, I mean, Museum this upcoming year is going to be, but uh, Triple Threads from last year never came out. Got a Julio, base Julio, kind of a mini goal. Goal number one, get a base Julio, base Bobby, possible. Nice to get the debut as well. Bunch of other good rookies to get out of 22 update. George Kirby being one. Stephen Kwan, another. Ladolo, another. And the retail blue Savali. Bobby Stars. Heavy. Heavy pack. It's 28 and snowing. Papa Hayes, where are you? Hopefully not to the west of me. Torkelson, get some good rooks. We got a gold, gold, Kyle Tucker. That's number to 75. Standworthy card number one is a manufactured batting helmet relic and you're gonna need like a 260 for this dog 260 how many how many 260s do you have at your house well go to card shells you can get some there i'm sure yeah you can for sure that's what i just got it's 45 and 8 28 p.m so across the pond Pena debut. Mike Trout, black gold.
Good afternoon, Arno. 72 in Maryland. Joe Ryan debut. What is this, a gold? Could it be? Vogelbosch. I've got so many Vogelboshes. So many. Out of this release, probably halfway to the rainbow in my PC, a Vogelbosch 22 update. Halfway to the complete rainbow. Melendez rookie. Kirby debut. Bryce Elder rookie. There we go. Love this one. Julio 87. John's and Dad Sports Cards. Good afternoon. Trout. Yeah, he's going to be back this year. Back to normal, I think. He'll miss a few games here and there just for maintenance purposes, but I think this is going to be a normal trout year. 40 home runs, that kind of thing. Stolen bases are never going to get back to where they were, but he, you know, he may get a few more. Oh, so yeah, I hear you, Logan. I hear you. Twenty-two. Bowman for Ellie first. Both paper and chrome. Ellie and Chirio. Spencer Strider rookies. Dominguez virtuosic vibrations. Julio, Jordan Walker, prospect card. Gilded, yeah. It's been a while since I opened Gilded and Definitive. Lucky Peter says, 85, sunny, and always a party in Miami. I need to go there now, right now. Rafaela first. Last pack. Are we going to get any color out of here? Looks like it's going to be one of those boxes. Nothing too crazy. Let's just get a card on the stage. Another card. Inception. Plans for opening day? Yeah. Blacksmith, we are going to the game. Going to Tigers opening day, and we might be right behind the plate as well. Are you Are you going to be at the Tigers opening day, or are you talking about a different, <laughs> different team? One of 30? So we have tickets, like just normal, normal good tickets, normal, like, normal good ones, not like great ones, but my friend... Uh, his job is running like a contest with the employees right now. And if he wins, we'll get three like right behind home plate tickets. So he crushes, so he probably will. Joey Weimer. Green parallel, Arenado. Another green, Mookie. And the hit. Oh, 
That's a beauty. Christopher Morell RPA. Nine of 149. Look at that patch. Wow. Spectacular. Someone's going to Mike. Forget, are these 130s or 180s? 130s. Sweet. Early hot B? Put them there. We'll see if he can hold the title. I mean, while we're at it, let's do some five star. M's gotcha. Going good, Cruz. Northern Iowa, you're fishing while watching. Sounds like a dream come true. Tristan Casas. Rookie auto. Going to Boston. I'm going to need to. He's in order. There we go. That one's going to Ryan. Did I get the Cubs right? Yeah, Mike. And an Aqua. Michael Toglia to 75. So two rookie autos. What should we do next? Got a Topps Chrome Mega. You can do that. And then everything else from here on out is pretty high end. Safe insane with a dollar ninety nine. Thank you. Yeah, I think he is too. K H. I got my eyes on him for fantasy purposes. Our league is going to be quite a bit different this year, so it's going to be an interesting adjustment. Two players dropped out, or actually more than two, but we're going from 14 teams to 12 teams, getting rid of a bench slot, getting rid of an IL spot. So there's going to be a lot more players available, like on the waivers. May change my strategy a little bit. Definitely have to think about it. Been binging. Sweet. I love to hear that. Yeah, Cruz is mashing. There's a lot of guys having big springs, but I try not to get too excited about spring stuff, especially from injury-prone players, if that's even a real thing. It's a Christopher Morrell kind of break. We got the X-Fractor. Rookie X-Fractor. I think I might just kind of put him, put him there with his pal on the hot B stand. Works. When you send in autograph cards, do you have the autograph graded? No, I don't. I would, I would hate to get a 10 on my card and then a nine on the auto. I think most people don't care if the auto is graded. Now, if the auto auto looks good, you want a double 10, something like that. If it's a significant card, go for it. But I don't think it's needed. All it can do is hurt. First time doing fantasy baseball, any tips? Depends on, all, there's all, so many things. Depends on the format of your league. Are you head to head? Are you roto? Points based? Categories, different strategies for all. George Springer, what, why why was that flipped around? Oh, it's an image variation. Dude, I have not seen that card. Not bad to get out of a monster box. Morgan, pretty sweet.
What's up, Rooster? You have several tens with crappy autos. <laughs> yeah. It's a Volpe refractor. It's a good hit. Awesome, Blake. Good to hear, man. Thanks. Cunha. Too bad that credit cards are over with. Done. But next year, this year. Jumbo box. Three chrome autos. through the base pretty quick there get right to the chrome and the good stuff max anderson and here's a blue is it a true blue auto right away true blue Kristen campbell two red Sox make the stage nice and early this one's going to ryan let's get there we go. Number to 150. 131 of 150. One of the most collectible firsts. One of the most collectible cards of a player right there. True blue first auto. <laughs> Thanks, Dacus. The Oyster. Uh the oyster video yeah matt shaw first max clark yeah that's what kind of got my foot in the door you, you just got to do it. if anybody out there that's watching this has wanted to make youtube videos and you just haven't for any reason you just have to make one and it can be like you sitting on your porch like take a video of a bird it doesn't even matter anything you smiling and saying something into the camera it doesn't matter you once you do your first one you'll see how easy it is and you can just go from there but that first step is always the hardest jack mahoney you might think that you need to have a good idea about some crazy video to make or something that's going to be entertaining or fun or funny or whatever nope You'll be waiting for the rest of your life if you're waiting for that. How much buyback of Acuna and Otani? I think I probably got maybe like 650 bucks. I didn't have that much because I mostly opened Hobby and Jumbo. So I didn't really accumulate a ton. I mean, that's a lot, but it's not as many as... If you open up a retail case, blaster box case or something, that's the way to do it. Shout out, Steven. Look at this. Wow, what a box. True blue and now a gold. Gold wave. Oh, it's a color match, too. Garrett Forrester to 50. First auto for the Pirates. 14 out of 50. Look at that. Going to Jack. Congratulations, Jack. It's not every day you pull a gold first auto. Wood going to be hot this year? Yeah. Yeah, he's been on my radar for quite a while else, since he got drafted. Or since he was in cards, I should say. 
since he got since he had his first. I feel like I have a little bit of advantage on your everyday uh, baseball fan, fantasy baseball fan, by knowing these cards right here. A lot of a lot of fantasy baseball guys kind of stop at who's in the league. Rightfully so. I mean, you can only like if you don't you don't know the draft picks and the prospects, it can seem so daunting to dive into these guys who you don't know their names, never heard of them, have no idea their story. Don't know their pedigree. It's just like uh, I'll just stick with the guys that are in the league. Blaze Alexander not looking bad. Skeen's Refractor first. That's a good one. Another Pirate hit. I think I might put him on the stage. Gold Wave, yeah. Gold Wave was the Garrett Forrester. Another gold. Luke Schleiger. Goodness, this is a true gold. Going to Connor. Eighteen of fifty on that bad boy. Joshua says, "Love the Heritage High Number video. Bought two today from David Adams with a coupon code. Tell me all about this coupon code you speak of, and send me the code to my email, please." That was like, I mean, I was kind of talking about that. Like, I mean. I, just don't get hooked up with deals like I feel like I should. Ooh, Green Jackson. Draft picks and prospects, man. You don't see parallels on these very often. 32 of 99. And not to mention, it's maybe the best one that you can get. One of the best ones, if not the best one. Luke! Gnarly card, man. Yeah, so anyway, I haven't made the second recording yet for the Heritage High Number video. I haven't ripped case number two. Quinn McDaniel. Did you, uh, were you talking earlier that you bought two cases or two boxes? I feel like, I feel like I could rip a lot of that stuff. It's very, very affordable. And that case gave me such good vibes and it was so good that I want more. I want to rip more. I got I have a whole nother case. Maybe it won't be as good and then it'll kind of like, Put some water on my fire. But I don't know. I hope it's good and it just makes me want to rip more. But usually what happens with a video like that is like people run out and buy it up and then the price goes up. Which reminds me of prices going up. I looked all around for some more Bowman draft. And it's sold out of most places. There's a few places that have some boxes. But, like, dude, Blowout was completely... I think Blowout and... Hold on, let me just double check this. But Blowout, David Adams, and Steel City were sold out. If not, one, maybe they had one format. But usually, Blowout's the first place to look. 2023 
Bowman draft. None. Blowout has no Bowman draft in stock. And you, you might say, like, oh, they're just holding some back. It hasn't been in stock for days. Usually if it just, like, goes out of stock and then they, they still have some, they'll find it, relist it. There's no reason for them to not list it. Jackson Holiday, because right now is, like, the time. This is, like, the busiest, one of the busiest baseball card times of the year. This is what we're looking for. Base, double first Jackson Holiday. So we've already got two nice... Jacksons. Let's, I'm gonna put him back there. So the green just looks better to the eye. Austin Hendrick to 150. His first edition boxes have the first firsts. They have sky blues and like every other pack, and a lot of numbered cards too. Which I'll start to I'll start a quick rip here probably after this, just so we can keep it moving. Save a little bit of time. Already running behind because of the pregame shenanigans. How are the Heritage High Number Blasters? No, I don't. I don't like retail Heritage. I, dude, if like think of it this way. Not talking about this year's, but previous years. If it's like fifty bucks a box or less. Say it's because if you get some discounts, you can get it for cheaper. $45 a box. You get your guaranteed hit out of there. And you get image variations, color swaps, all that kind of thing that you can't even get out of retail. And if you can get some of those image variations, they're super, super tough pulls. So you're mostly just chasing like, and, and you're gonna get a chrome of some sort out of a hobby as well. So that's the chase, that's why you open that. You don't open it for the base cards. Base cards are a dime a dozen. What you're looking at is the chromes, the image variations, and the hits, specifically real one autos and red inks. I don't even know if you can get red ink out of retail. So I would suggest just if you're gonna spend a couple bucks, just get a hobby box. 50 bucks. These are breaks, Clay. 30 people bought into this. I'm just ripping it for them. I sort it, ship it. Display it, sort it, ship it, entertain, send it on its way. You don't even have to go to the card shop. You just get in on a striker break. Heritage is barely acceptable in the hobby. Uh, I don't, you must not. It, it definitely is acceptable. It's one of the top, definitely a, one of the top five rookies to collect from a player. It used to be number two. It's like Topps Chrome and then Heritage, flagship Heritage-ish. And now that they got rid of a couple of releases, it's, it might still be number two. It's just, it's like mass produced and there's retail available everywhere. So there's going to be a lot of base cards. However, if you compare the population of like PSA 10 heritage rookies to like, let's just look at the 2022 stuff, Julio heritage rookies versus Julio flagship. Look at how many are in the pop. Look what the prices are going for. About the same as a flagship, if not a tick above. And real autos, real one autos are some of the most collectible cards of a player. So. Christopher, oh, I thought it was Morrell. I didn't bother reading the last name. Sky Blue's coming out of here. There's Ellie. Judd Fabian. Sky Blue first. A 
there's a if you're talking about how to join the YouTube channel to get a green highlight, it's like a little dollar sign. Should there should be like a membership thing you can join. It's only a dollar ninety nine. But if you want to get in on the breaks, you got to become a slammer. Link is in the description. I'll drop you a link sometime here, but also the stream bot drops a link every once in a while. You can scroll back. He probably told you how. Dropped you a link. Jacob Miller to 75. Two numbered parallels so far. Sky Blue Valerio. Gold coming up? I think I see a gold. Right behind Henry Davis, gold Jake Bennett, 42 of 50 for the Nationals. Going to Tanner. Tamar first. First, first. Elijah Green first, first. Jay Allen, sky blue. First edition, it's, I don't know if they even make it anymore, but for a few years they were pumping this out pretty reliably, but it comes out before the regular Bowman, this is Bowman draft. So came out before Bowman draft came out and it's, um, it's just got the first edition stamp on there. So you can get the double firsts is what we refer to them as. And there's a lot of parallels that you can get. Autographs don't come out of here very much at all, if ever. But for some releases, you can get autographs. Been some QC issues with those that I've noticed, though. You're not opening it typically to uh, pull an auto. You're opening it because numbered parallels are plentiful and very valuable, and the sky blues are very plentiful as well and hold a decent amount of value. And quite collectible. Steven Zoback to 150. So like if you get the Jackson like this, it's a big card. Jose Ramos. De Los Santos, sky blue. A little bit left. Thanks, Kevin. We got Matt McLean, Jordan Lawler. Max Muncy, sky blue. And another true blue, Alexis Hernandez to 150. For the Cubs. Last little bit here. Robbie Snelling, sky blue. Jet Williams. Another hobby box, 2022 Bowman Chrome. Love this release. You get Bobby, Julio, Chrome rookies, all the other good guys that came out of like update. Basically all the good rookies, the best rookies from 2022 are available in here. And Jackson Trio first autos come out of here too. So it's uh, it's been undervalued in my opinion for quite a while. I don't know if that's going to change, I would imagine, at some point, but never know. If they play this song one more time, I think I'm going to lose my mind. I don't even know. don't even know. Just something a little different. JTS scooping up 10 gifted memberships, dropping 10 gifted memberships. Appreciate that. If you just got a green highlight, it's because JTS cards just hooked you up. Free memberships dropping from the sky. Okay, 
We'll get one autograph in each one of these mini boxes. Should get a parallel as well. Auto and a parallel. This one's gonna have two parallels, I think. It's an unnumbered shimmer. Don Cone, and that is, oh no, that's to 250. Sometimes these purple shimmers in certain releases aren't numbered. That one's to 250. We're looking for firsts, rookies, all chrome, and an autograph. There's Bobby. Tovar. That is to 125. Vapor. Is our auto gold? I'm going to get two gold autos in one break. It is. It's a first true gold to 50. Edison Paulino for Boston. Going to Ryan. He's a youngin. That's his, man. Two Red Sox. First autos on the stage already. Or Ryan. Whoa. Is that a bonus? It's either a bonus auto or the auto from that box got put in here. That is, and I've never pulled one of these. Nelson Velasquez, 45 of 50, Bowman Invicta. It's a gold cracked ice, gold atomic parallel. Wow. Mike, you are on fire. That's on card. Man, a lot of a lot of times those Invicta autos are stickers too, so. Jeez. Do we got another potential hot B here? Let's go like that. So far. Corrado with a $10. You've been crushing for years. What do you attribute the recent rapid growth to? And will it enable you to do more personal rips? Love these chases. Thank you. Well, the recent rapid growth, I was just talking about this, is a lot of it has to do with that Fanatics video, that first Fanatics video that I made. It's my most popular video I've ever made. It's just like straight up growth from that video. Tons of people who have never seen my channel before so watch the video and I got a lot of subs from that and the surrounding videos. So it's a combination of that and 2024 series one in general started the growth, but it was actually even a little bit before that, those two videos. So I, I kind of branched out into a little bit of basketball and a little bit of football and I never opened that stuff on the channel. So there's a whole bunch of new people that never even knew about, about the channel before it started watching. And those videos were all huge, like, over 50,000 views, 60,000 views on those, which is a ton. And anytime you get that, those kind of numbers, 60% of the people are probably like new or unsubscribed. 60 to 70% of the people haven't subscribed yet. And I've been experimenting with different formats for the, vi for the videos, getting more watch time, which has contributed to YouTube recommending the video to more people. So more people that haven't seen the video, like we could go on for like an hour about this theory about why and how. And then the last video too, I just made yesterday, the Fanatics box video was my number one video on the channel. And recently it's it had like 24,000 views over the first 24 hours, which is incredible. Like that's like this is my number one video. So I get a lot of subscribers from stuff like that. YouTube starts recommending your videos to people that have never seen it before. That's a big part of it. Up next and recommended. If you don't get those on your channel, if you don't get the the YouTube recommending your video and putting it in the up up next and also putting it on people's home screen, then you're doing something wrong probably. And it's not like just from a standpoint of trying to achieve growth and watchability and length of watching. The, be the beauty of YouTube is it's like, I mean, it's almost like a perfect market because when you figure it out, I've been making videos for five years now. We've got over 1,100 videos. And when you kind of seek out like how to 
be better, make better videos that people watch longer and that they want to click on. Combination of thumbnails, uh, titles, and duration that they watch. That's a big one that a lot of people don't think about. Duration. Then you can you can explode. It's called going viral. Everybody knows about it. But it's not like it's something that you you got to study, figure it out. Where where aren't they watching? Where are they watching? For me, a, a big one is like everybody else. This Pete Crow to ninety nine. A big one was if anybody out here is watching that has their own channel, look at the, look at this. When you go into your analytics, the first like twenty seconds, thirty seconds, like first five seconds, ten seconds, and thirty seconds, see how much drop off there is. There's a ton of drop off. Like someone clicks on the video and then it drops way down. That means they don't watch the first 30 seconds and that's like the most important part of the video. So you gotta make that better. Same with the ending. If it's dropping way off at the ending, nobody's watching the end. You gotta make it either better or cut it off completely. We did get three. Leonardo Balcazar of the Reds going to John. So yeah, for me, it's five years, 1,100 videos, and then trying to learn and be better. Every single video, you got to try to figure out how to make a better one than your last video. You don't have to, but if you want to grow, it's a good idea. And you will grow naturally if you just keep pumping out videos, but the growth will be muted. It'll be stunted you know it's just you're gonna grow but it's not gonna be by leaps and bounds every once in a while though something will click with a topic thumbnail video description image all the things combining relevancy the fanatics videos were extremely relevant and one of the things that like outside of the baseball card thing that i didn't plan on that just this is the luck factor too you gotta get lucky so the like it went, it went like this with, there was the Fanatics jersey controversy at the time with the pants and the jerseys. That was like the biggest story in the news. So when I got my boxes and just opened up some Fanatics boxes, there were so many like query, qu queries, people typing in on Google and looking for like people on Twitter, people on YouTube, making YouTube videos about it. Just Google searching Fanatics and it's like Fanatics jerseys. Fanatics pants, the see-through pants, the cheap jerseys, all that stuff. There's huge talk about it on the internet too. So people clicked on like, oh, Fanatics. And they're like, what are these baseball cards? You can only get through Fanatics. Last few hits. So see what I mean? There's like a million factors that went into it. But then it, it slows down. Like I had this huge growth right at the Fanatics video time. And then it plateaus. So you got to like. Something's got to happen. Something's got to give. Got to come up with another sweet idea. And I have one. I've got a sweet idea. It'll be like two weeks from now. We'll see if it works. We'll see if people like it. This is a big box. 2023 Bowman Draft. Big box. Oh, yeah, not to mention I'm getting my own baseball card. <laughs> that helped. Helped a little bit. Oh, look at that. There's a big boy on top. Mmm, man. We've, we've got some good color in this break. Do we have a three hitter here? That's the question. Ready? Orange Wave, Braden Taylor. Boom. Look at that. Going to the Rays. Reggie. Nice hit, Reggie. First break in a while. We have a base auto. K Denton. Do we have two K Denton autos? Nope. The other one was a different Colorado pitcher, Jack Mahoney. Finally. 
Charlie Soto. Yeah, so I give a lot of the credit to the Series 1 in general. Came out super popular. A lot of a lot of my traffic was coming externally from people searching on Google. Because, you know, YouTube is owned by Google. So when you type in a search on Google, YouTube videos are going to pop up, like, at the very top. If not the very top thing, like the top three results, they'll show you a, Google, a YouTube video. So a lot of people are interested in Series 1, 2024. A lot of people that don't collect regularly get caught up in that. And they're just looking for answers. You guys know how it is. Super overwhelming getting back into the game. Have no idea what to collect, what's good, what's bad. What has what in it. What rookies are in what release. It's just like you can get bogged down and not even want to look into it. So if someone has the answers for you, ready to go. Last box of break number one. Bowman Chrome, we're looking for a solace. Hey, John. Yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing, JB. With, with that. Doing the live draft this year? Most likely, Andrew. We just got that worked out. So we got a, a time. So I'll probably stream it again. That was fun last year. I had a good time. Well, the last couple of years. Mojo? Upside down. Mojo Auto. Number one. Victor is Tourist. For the Guardians. Manway. Mojo Auto. These are number to 150. Vladimir. Restituyo. Lots of Rockies, man. Three Rockies on the stage. And we got two hits. Shim. To 199, two parallels. That's good out of these boxes. Or do they normally come with two? I think they're like one. You get one to two, but you don't get three. The Bowman Draft. Breakers Delights, you can get three. I think you can even get four autos in the Breaker's Delight. They're rare, but I think you can get a four hitter. Okay, you guys ready? Let's look at the hits. Christopher Morrell, X-Fractor rookie. Kyle Tucker, gold parallel for the helmet relic, number to 75. Garrett Forrester, gold wave to 50. Luke Schleiger, true gold first to 50. Jack Mahoney, first auto. Kristen Campbell, true blue to 150. Tristan Casas, rookie. Michael Toglia to 75. Jackson Holiday, green to 99. Got another Jackson Holiday. That's his first first. George Springer, image variation. Edison Paulino, gold auto to 50. Quinn McDaniel, 499. Pete Crow to 99. Got a Balcazar, Bowman Chrome Prospects auto, redemption. Jake Bennett to 50. Zoback to 150. Hernandez to 150. Tovar to 125. Don Cohn to 250. Hendrick to 150. Miller to 75. Paul Skeens, refractor first. Kane Denton first. Cade Denton first. Braden Taylor, Orange Wave to 25. Charlie Soto first. 
shim to 199 sorry 499 refractor first auto is Tours restituyo to 150 we got nelson velasquez to 50 that was like a bonus auto out of our box invicta gold atomic and inception rpa christopher morell to 149 Break number one in the books. Break number two begins. And break number two is the Gilded Mixer. So we're going to finish this one off with a box of Gilded. And then the next one, Definitive. And we're ready to roll immediately. Start with the Fanatics box. Nice little appetizer. This is a baseball card channel. I don't open hockey. All right, fine, I will. But not today. You'll have to wait, hit the notification bell so you know when that baby goes live. You know you want to watch. You know you want to watch me hit a million dollar card. Colton Kowser. Blue Marlins. Retail Blue Marlins card. Aqua Strider. Yeah, now that Cole's out, he was like the number one pitcher. Strider's going to be more valuable, I, th I would think. Plus, we don't really know. They say one to two months or whatever they say. But, I mean, <laughs> it's awfully shaky messing with the elbow. Is it JD? Strand. I find it strange that the Reds signed Candelario. Like, they don't have enough guys like that on the team. I mean, I understand Marte just got suspended for 80 games, but they were pretty deep at infield as it was. This seems like a strange signing. They must think that he can help them compete at a high level. Because they're there. Like, they're right there. They should make the playoffs, I think. But I would think they would need help more on the pitching end. Shohei. Get another good pitcher in there instead of like yet another offensive player. Even though Candelario, is, he's a tiger. So I got to see plenty of him. I know what he's all about. It's not like he's a, I don't know. I don't, not the best. Don't you wish Upper Deck would come back to baseball? Yeah, for sure. I like Upper Deck, man. Some people were talking trash about it, and I'm like, what? Why? I think it's sweet. I liked it a lot. I think I thought I was going to hate it. Or not hate, but I thought I was going to be bored with it. But I liked, I liked those inserts, and the parallels were pretty nice looking. Jordan Lawler Chrome. We got the RBI leaders with Olsen, Alonzo, and Albies Aqua. I think about that all the time, making videos about the weird comments. And, and like mostly I think about making videos about the, the people who are mean to me. <laughs> I want to be because I have a lot to say to those people, but I don't want to waste my time typing it, but I will speak on it. But then again, I don't want the negativity. So it's like, uh, do, you, do you even go there? 
I'd rather just ignore them and try to be positive. There's like no, I guess let's just do this. Hobby box 22 update. You'll give Cole your UCL. Upper deck, yeah, game changer in 89. Ain't that the truth? One of the, if not the most graded card ever. Ken Griffey Jr., rookie. Comes out of there. I don't know what the pop is up to these days but at one point it was like the most graded card ever which is why they're so harsh on it they are super harsh on those griffy upper decks i sent a few of them away and was getting like sevens and eights on perfect cards what Yeah, Upper Deck has Goodwin Champions, so that was the last. I have opened some. I like, I like that product's okay, especially if you like weird stuff. Weird stuff and autos of people that you can't get any, anywhere else, like, you know, LeBron, Tiger Woods, Jordan. Yeah, but I don't like that. I don't want to have... People watch me because they hate me. I want to be liked. I don't want to be hated. I mean, I'll tell I'll tell the truth, but there's a difference between telling the truth and then saying things that are intentionally inflammatory just to get like clicks and views. That's not my style. I'm not gonna do that. Trust me, I could easily, and people would find it very entertaining if I sliced people down and was just like a complete jerk and mocked them and ridiculed them, that's easy. It's way harder to bite your tongue and not publicly humiliate people when you easily could. Some people don't have enough skill, talent, to not do that. The people the people that just like, I mean, I'm not saying Howard Stern doesn't have skill and talent. He certainly does. But he operates on a different set of morals or lack thereof than I do. Ethics. Respect for people. Here we go. We're looking for a big purple. Sawinski. Did we get a centered batch? We'll start by looking at that. Looks pretty centered. Just a little piece of paper down there. Hopefully they're all centered. You're bound to get one good purple out of a whole batch. Right? Right. We got a blue. Blues are pretty tough. Even though they're at 199, usually you get, if you're just going to get something base, you get a refractor. But the blues look good. And if you happen to get a Julio or a Bobby, blue chrome. White collectible. Edward Cabrera purple. Melendez, that's centered. Purple Melendez rookie. Lodolo. Perp. Bryce Harper, all star game. It would be centered too, wouldn't it? There's Bobby. Bryce Elder, we got Brandon Marsh debut, Pena rookie, 
Another all-star game. That's a judge. Kevin Smith purple. Stephen Quantrue purple. A little thin on that left side, but not the worst I've seen. Hmm. Javi. Ba boom boom boom. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to. Pull Nestrada true photo from a blaster. Thought it was a stadium club. Yeah, I know. Those ones, they look like stadium club cards. They're not my favorite. However, if I were to get an Ellie or something, I think you know what I would do? I would sell, if I got a big true photo, I'd probably, if, if it's gradable, I'd get it graded and then I'd sell it and I'd buy something I really want. Because I'd rather have a gold or really any, I'd almost rather have like a aqua, plain aqua, rather than a super rare photo variation. They just, I don't know. I just, they're not for me. It's okay. They're for a lot of people. I, I don't really like them that much. Wyatt Langford. First. Dude, Kristen Campbell. We got one last break. Not this exact one. To 199. I guess he's our guy. Break number two. Let me get it up here. It is going to sort. Jeff. Aqua Lava. Jake DeLeo. To four ninety nine, Kendall George. First auto, going to the Dodgers. Sky, get involved. Pulled a Jordan Walker heavy lumber. Yeah, that's a nice pull. How how um, heavy lumbers? I can probably find that out in less than 10 seconds for you. Check out Chasing Majors. That's a good website, you guys. Chasingmajors.com. It's got like the, the, they did the numbers on all this. Heavy lumber. I think I got to scroll all the way to the bottom here. Yep. Here we go. Heavy. Oh, it's the heavy lumber auto checklist. That's not what we want. Here we go. Heavy lumber. There's only 31 of each. Whoa, it's a 20 card checklist. Only only about 30, 30 of them each. 30, 31, Isn't that sweet? Tamar. My team, um, well, I live in Michigan, so the Tigers are my team. But I like a lot of teams. Like, I'm a fan of baseball, MLB. So I like a lot of teams. I like watching all the different games and all the teams. And I just enjoy baseball, like watching it and all, all the aspects. So I have a lot of different hats. I collect hats. I have all the different, not all, but I have a lot of different MLB hats. And I like to wear them. 
just to change it up and maybe give a little shout out to a team that I enjoy. I enjoy the Orioles. I like the young teams with a bunch of like up and coming prospects, superstars, potential Hall of Famers on the teams. I like when it correlates to collecting their cards too, it makes it more exciting. There's Emmett Refractor. Let's get some Tigers luck in here. Yeah, you can get an auto on the heavy lumbers. That's pretty wild. Those, I don't know if it says how many of those there are. Let's see. It doesn't. They're probably, are they one-on-ones? Marcelo. Need an Astros cap? Nah. I did consider the City Connect one because I do actually like that. I think it's cool. But I'm not an Astros guy. I'm not just blind, like blind. I don't have blind allegiance to any old team. Usually there's like a little, some kind of story or significance to each team that I like. And it ebbs and flows. I don't just like, so for example, like the Padres, I like the Padres, but now I'm like, I mean, there goes all their good players. Not all. There goes some of their good players and they're not even trying to, it's almost like they're not trying to compete anymore. And it's not, it's not as exciting for me. So I still am a Padres fan, but not as big as I was. It kind of correlates to, correlates with collecting people's cards too. Like if I start collecting a guy, I'll watch them play. I'll watch their team. And then that makes me like them more. And then I'll get like some of their swag. Like the Reds. I never really liked the Reds until this this young crop started coming up. We could collect their cards. And like Ellie is super exciting to watch. The team is very exciting on offense to watch. So that made me like them. Like basically if you are an exciting team to watch, I'm probably in. You could argue that the Astros are exciting to watch. However, it's a mood ring. Colt Emerson. We all know what happened with the Astros. Ethan Salas. And that prevents a lot of outsiders from being fans. Is it? Is that the ad you're getting? Scott's toilet paper? <laughs> Hilarious. Another gold, man. We are hitting some golds. No, that's a yellow. Watts Brown. Maybe it's because of all the Taco Bell talk. Still waiting on that opportunity from T Bell. I'll take I'll take food for life as payment. I'll probably they'd probably be down with that because I'd die young eating Taco Bell every day for every meal. Brian with a four ninety nine. 22 Topps Chrome update has seriously great prices for PSA 10 Julio's. Thousand gems, which is less than Adley, Gunner, and Corbin Chromes are going for 60. Yeah, tough to gem up on those. I probably gonna rip another case before the redemptions expire because the Bobby Auto is a redemption, and I don't remember if the Julio is. But those will be expiring sometime, and the stuff is so cheap. It's more. It's actually like. 50% more expensive than it got down to. I think it got down to like 40 bucks a box at one point. It's probably like 60 something now, right? 60 a box. As more people gobble it up and, you know, start consuming it before the, the redemptions expire, it'll probably go up a little bit in price. 
especially if those singles prices go up. Mike with 10 gifted. Thank you. It's a great way to donate to the channel because it's win-win. Everybody wins. Mike gets a shout out. 10 of you get free subs. YouTube takes a nice chunk of it and then I get a couple of bucks. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, don't forget about Uncle Sam's piece. Everybody gets a piece. Kevin Parada blue to 150. Rockies game. I've never been to Colorado. Matt Corvath. I've got some family that just moved out there, though. Tops Chrome. We're kind of upgrading. Each break gets an upgrade from the previous format. First break, we did a monster box of Topps Chrome. This break, hobby box. Next break, jumbo box. I got to check something out real quick just to make sure I didn't get... Any of these boxes mixed up. I know this goes in here, just the next one. Um, okay. These breaks were tricky to put together because they all kind of have different stuff in them. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, it just randomly picks, Colin, but you gotta be like, there's a setting in your YouTube settings where you you have to like accept gifted notifications or gifted memberships I mean so you should you could check that make sure it's on I don't know about that just Greg you but you do have to be here in the chat as long as you're here, I think you qualify for it. You don't have to be typing in the chat. You just have to accept it. Like, uh, accept the possibility of being gifted one. We're going to be getting one auto out of here that we know. Auto, a couple parallels, a couple numbered parallels, and some refractors, prisms. Maybe a negative. Maybe a super refractor.
I mean, it helps the channel to talk. I think. I think like engagement. YouTube likes engagement. Whether you like it, click the like button, share it with a friend, comment on the videos, chat during the live streams. If you do that, then YouTube's like, oh, people like this. Maybe this guy will like it. JJ Blade, rookie. Oh, we got the flippers. Yay. Refractor Jimenez. Royce Lewis Prism. Josh Young, rookie. Technicolor, Michael Harris, rookie. Got that Bobby Cup card. Julio Cup. And our auto is a purple. Hype Force. Original founding Hype Force member, Marcus Wilson. Two of 250. He was born in 1996. Usually the products I do the breakdowns of, Joe, are the ones that have retail versions and hobby versions, a bunch of different formats to open up. That's that's the only reason to do a value breakdown, if they have multiple formats. Like if there's just a hobby and a jumbo, it's not much to break down, but if there's like blasters, hangers, fat packs, value boxes, uh, jumbo, hobby, breakers delight, like all that different stuff, then it can be tough to know what the best the best one is. And it changes from release to release. Year to year, they they change the formula. We got a good one, Corbin Prism for Eric. Congratulations! Matt Chapman to 199. Aqua. Trey Turner Refractor. Varsho Prism. Nolan Gorman. Rookie. This checklist is really good. Christopher Morrell, rookie. Judge. McClanahan, refractor. Riley Green, rookie. Michael Harris. Oh, wow. What is this coming up? A gold? What? The true gold. Corey Seeger to 50. I like that for Mr. Arno. Nice, Scott. Saw weep. LeMahieu Prism. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Start out with some Bowman Chrome. HTA, we get three autos in here. We're going to finish on the gilded box.
Yeah, me too, Eric. But you know what? It I don't. It seems to me, and this may or may not be so, but it seems to me that Fanatics is distributing these products more evenly across a wide variety of distributors and like hobby shops and breakers and whatnot. So it's not like the big three have all the product and then they they have so much in stock, they gotta drop the price because they just have so much of it and people aren't gonna buy it as much now. I just don't think that, I don't think the big three has as much inventory as they used to and they just aren't gonna be dropping prices on much of anything that has a decent checklist even. Javier Valdez, they have to have product. I mean, it constantly comes out, but Henry Ramos. That's just my take. I don't know if it's that's accurate, but that's my take. Purple Auto. Aiden Sanchez. It's probably a Don Sanchez. Purple to 250. Going to the Cubs, Jeremy. Did anybody pre-order Heritage? How excited are we about that release at that price? With that design. Five star. I don't know, tactical. I just sold, might have sold my only my only one today. Whoa, look at that. Enormous patch auto, Paul Goldschmidt, 15 of 25. That thing is enormous. Autograph jumbo patch relic. Goldie. Going to Brett. Nice hit. Three color patch. And gross hands. Rookie auto for the Marlins. I like five star this year. Got a lot more expensive. A lot of people liked it. Well, that's got to be the hot B so far. Okay, what do we want to... I think I'm going to do... Should I do that? Yeah, I'll do this, then this, and then we'll end with a bang. With the gilded. And then break number three. It's going to be good. Yeah, let me drop you a link. Um, I've got some huge auctions going on right now if you guys are interested. I'm just going to drop a link to the Ellie because that is what is on my screen. And I can easily just go like that. Ellie De La Cruz, auction, auto, PSA 10, number to 25. Got a parallel on top. I can see that much. It's a mojo. But did we get three? Zach Thornton of the Mets. Going to Josh. 125 out of 150. It's his first auto. We did get a triple hitter. Blue Wave next. And it's Jacob Wilson. It's a shortstop. Blue Wave to 150. 
Oh, two first round pick sixth overall. That's a pretty nice hit. Pretty nice. Indeed. That one's going to Ryan and this one, a refractor. Charlie Soto. We got Charlie Soto. We got him in the last break, right? So weird. Different format too. Gotta love the triple hitter though. That's so exciting. Yo, Jeff, what's up? Hard to find a better product this year for eye candy and value than Tops Inception. Yeah, Inception was awesome this year. Dude, Fanatics has been doing great. Like, Tops, Fanatics, whatever. Tops under Fanatics. Their releases have been... Like, yeah, there's a little mistakes here and there. But the good outweighs the bad, in my opinion. I love all the bonus hit boxes that they don't advertise. And then you're just like, oh, sweet, an extra auto in this. Ryan with a $20 donation. Hey, Striker, didn't you just have 40K? Congrats, dude. Your hard work is paying off. Let's keep it going to 100,000. I just had 50,000. It's been a while since I had 40, but yeah, just got to 50. I mean, it's all relative, right? But thank you. I appreciate that generous donation. Yeah, we're going to be at 100 by Tops Chrome. It's my goal. We might get there by Bowman. I think I think by the time... I'm going to put a prediction out here. By May 8th, going to be at 100,000 subscribers. Oh, I think Bowman's going to do it. That's what I was talking about earlier. Wide release, mainstream release available at all the stores. Anybody who's walking around in, in Walmart, which is, oh, I don't know, like 500 trillion people. Like, they are <laughs> they might see it and be like, is this worth buying? Some people are going to be like, can you flip this? You know, there's a lot of flippers out there. There's a lot of people looking for like a side gig, wondering if it's worth it to buy that stuff and then go list it on eBay or they just want the details. And you know me, I give those deets. John Gray. Like, it's one thing if, like I said, we could talk about this for hours. There's like theory and philosophy behind it, but. Jacques Peterson, the best one to 50. Here you go, Ryan. Jacques. Guy coming in with a $20 dono. May the 4th be at 100K. It might be. It might be May 4th. But <laughs> it might do it. I'm thinking more like May 8th, like right on the day, maybe. But it might be the 4th. It might be a little before that. I don't know because there's, dude, big league's going to be. It might be big league might get it done, and that's coming out real soon. Bryson Stott, because I got to be chasing my card. And I got to be chasing it in a big way. My go Bedard hunting. Yeah. Million dollars on the line. Yeah, I would. It's not like, I don't know. I just feel like it's not, it's probably the easiest million dollar chase that you can possibly have. But maybe not. Maybe there's some kind of lottery out there that you could chase a million dollars easier. If you want. If you care about that kind of thing. I care more about the chase than the million dollars, to be honest with you. Bryson Stow, a couple of stats in here. April 27th is your guess, Rusty. As long as I keep the pedal to the metal 
and I'm running low on fuel. Today was a rough one, man. One of those days where you just don't want to get out of bed. Pooped. I was up till so late last night trying to get these breaks together, trying to do accounting. It's annoying. Eventually you run out of gas. Are we gonna get anything noteworthy out of this box besides Jock Peterson gold? Young Guns rookie's massive, yeah. Thank you, Couch. Oh, man. I got one parallel out of there, too. Well, we got the big boy. Should we start another good luck tradition? What if we did a Stella Nova? Good luck. Good luck, Stella Nova soak. Nah, you can't force it. That's not a thing. There he is. All kinds of options. Double F face sweep. All I ever see is this guy looking at me. Gives me the creeps. Here we go. Slice right through that seal. You just subbed, Tactical Gamer? Thank you. Don't know why you weren't subbed months and months ago, but thank you. See what it takes, man? Some people come hang around for like months and months, sometimes years, and they're just like, all right, I'll give you a sub after like the 7,000th hour of watching your content. Where is my alert box? Why is it not on the screen? Oh, ho, ho. that's why. I keep hearing the alert noise and it's not popping up. There we go. You got to beg for subs. Or at least remind people about, you know, as often as possible. Which one first? Gold frame? Oh, gotcha. Understood and forgiven, Tactical Gamer. Cal Ripken Jr., 10 of 30. Oreos, Gold Frame Hall of Famers autograph. And it is clean. For Kevin. More hand modeling videos. Ah, I just spilled the beans. That was next up. Next up. A series of hand modeling videos where I hold, put it in the chat, what, what's featured in those videos. Don't, don't, you know, you know how to behave. Okay. This is the pack right here. Look at that, Yuri. 
All these cards are numbered, and they are beautiful. Yuri Perez, rookie to 199. Gold, mini diamond, big poppy, one of 50. Jeff. And we got a Michael Grove rookie auto. 87 of 99 for the Dodgers. Sky. Another auto. Whoa. I think we're only supposed to get one there. We got another bonus auto. Ryan Nelson, 2 of 25. This is exactly what I was talking about. Stuff like this. Here you go. Here's a free, like, extremely high-end autograph. 2 of 25 for Eric and our boy Cedric Mullins 49 of 99 alright let me get these top loaded I will show you all the hits and then we'll move on to the definitive mixer where the biggest of the big boys play Cardshells.com here. Check out these codes while I'm doing this. If you want discounts, there's the codes. Card shells. Everybody here needs top loaders. Strike force. Cardshells.com. And these take 55 points, the thick boys. Okay, let's look at them. Pull them down, do them all at once. We will start with a gold Corey Seager. Four or 50. Watts Brown to 75. Parada to 150. Marcus Wilson, purple rookie auto to 250. Corbin Carroll Prism. Matt Chapman to 199. Jesus Sanchez to 199. Moodring, em Colt Emerson. Max Clark, first refractor. Wyatt Crowell to 250. Enrique Bradfield. Junior, first auto. Kendall George, first auto. Kristen Campbell. Aqualaba. First auto. Zach Thornton, Mojo, first auto to 150. Gross hands, rookie auto. Henry Ramos, base, Valdez base. Adan Sanchez, purple, first auto to 250. Jacob Wilson, Blue Wave, first auto to 150. Charlie Soto, Refractor to 499. Jacques Peterson to 50. Ryan Nelson to 25. Michael Grove to 99. Cedric Mullins to 99. Yuri Perez to 199. And Big Poppy, David Ortiz, one of 50. The Hot Bees, Paul Goldschmidt, 15 of 25. On card, patch, auto. And Cal Ripken Jr., 10 of 30. Gold frame, on card, number to 30. Okay, let's do the big one. Break number three.
Check out this stack. Pretty nice spread. That's what's coming up right now. We're going to save the definitive for the end. We're going to start with a Fanatics box. I've been using the same lint roller for what seems like forever. I would not want to be in the lint roller business. You're not going through a lot of them, like no matter what you do. Doesn't seem very profitable. $50 tip for a Kevin Hart. All right. Two days from retirement, Mariners Rich. Let's go. Thoughts on getting Beckett witness stickers on the back of cards for in-person autographs. Get it authenticated however you want. Seems fine to me. I mean, Beckett definitely knows what they're doing. Lane Thomas. Oh, you went through those? Yeah. I have a dog. She just doesn't shed. Short hair pit. It's a nice alley. I'm just going to put them up on that. I really like this one. I always like the 35th anniversary, 35th anniversary ones. I'll just get them up there for something to look at nice and early. Gold in this one. We got a guaranteed numbered card, and it's a gold. Oh, we got one of those triple hitters. Look. Okay. First one. Brian De La Cruz. Then. Rainbow foil. Angels. Andy Rodriguez and Yoshida Cup card. No, I haven't even seen one, Steve. They must be super rare. Oh, nice forest. Mine's off to the upgrade shop right now. I've got two orders at the upgrade shop. I thought I only had one. That's how bad. That's how bad it gets. I went and looked today. It's like, oh, I've got two there. Okay. There's Riley. Oof. <laughs> Home run challenge. Adley Rutschman. You got a super? Yeah, I still haven't opened any of those. I they I think they had one at Meyer, but it was like quite a bit more expensive. Meyer charges like 10% more for their cards, which makes it not great. I don't know. I don't know if I need to open any. <laughs> I've had some people ask if I'll open one or some and Valdez. Man, we got a lot of hits in this box. Gold, rainbow foil, retail blue, nine aquas. And a chrome stars and a home run challenge. Do you see? 
You see why? Or no? See or no? Evening, Nate. A super jumbo. This might be the last twenty two twenty three draft we do for a while. We're moving into a new year of releases. Scott needs a skeins. Tops Japan had gilded on their site. Ah, oh, man, yeah. It's so expensive. But man, is it pretty. Adrian Santana to 75. Don't forget about Max. Having a great time. I'd have a smile on my face like that, too. Oh. Gonna roll like that, I guess. Sorting. Hold on. There we go. Just looking to see who has the raise, and it's Kevin. Michael Carrico. Of the Cubs going to Ryan. Mike with a $5 super chat. Tip to the dealer. Holy mother. Went back and checked break number one. You are the man. Good luck in break number three, everyone. Thanks for the dono. And the good vibes, man. Appreciate that. Afternoon, AZ. Whoa, Ellie. Was Max Clark invited to spring training this year? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. I can't keep track of all the invites for spring training. I can't keep track of all of it. I start diving in here and, you know, once we get like a week out and things are taking shape a little bit more clearly, actually probably right before my draft, I'll start really looking into some more of what happened in spring. Blake Mitchell glass and a speckle. Coleman Picard. K. Bradfield Jr. Green Parallel Class of 2023. That's a case hit. 84 of 99. Going to Justin. Camonero sent back. Wow. 
why doesn't make a lot of sense to me unless I don't know those rays they're weird Ramirez Lunar Glow Sky Blue Elijah Green that one's numbered 499 get some refractors in this pack there's Max Clark here's the refractors and a purple auto K Denton dude the Rockies so at least it's a color match. The Rockies autos have been flowing. To 250. Felipe. Got you covered. Cade Denton. Purple color match. First autograph. What's up, KC? Yeah, but that's the early one, Scott. <laughs> Doesn't count. I mean, it does, kind of. It does, but it's not opening day for everyone. I like it though. I like how there's like a little early taste. Oh, that's sweet. Man, for all of these that I've pulled, maybe only one other Max Clark. I can only remember pulling this once besides this. That's sweet glass. And we're gonna go what, 75 point? Yeah. Oh, tactical, you're just too kind. Thank you. Although, I mean, I just, I appreciate that. Even though I don't know if you're serious or not. You're a bit of a jokester. Alex Clemmy. 3450. Going to the Guardians, Ryan. See, that's better to share it with your family and friends because that's real. Like a, like a fake sub doesn't really do anything. But sharing it with friends and family that actually might watch and care, that is very helpful and valuable and useful and appreciated. Travis Honey, man. Going to John. Let's put him right there. One more enormous pack to go. See a Langford. It's about time for one. I can't believe, dude, we've got multiple Langford first autos throughout the course of 2023 Bowman draft. 
check out strikerbreaks.com hall hits i probably have hope, hopefully i have some of them up there one of them up there at least i try to keep up with the hall of hits sometimes it takes a while though xavier isaac skeens it's to 99. Max Anderson Refractor first. Matt Shaw Refractor. And Tommy Hawk. Kind of looks like discount Max Clark. But let's get him up on the stage. What a sweet name, Tommy Hawk. Sounds like a stage name. Striker breaks. Jumbo twenty twenty three tops chrome. Home of the rookie autograph, of the chrome rookie autograph. Hey, Darren. Do you ship to Canada? I do not. No international shipping. Unless you buy something on eBay. I do ship internationally on eBay. But let's be honest, I just don't trust the Canadians. So you're out of luck, Yoon Jung. I'm just kidding. I love Canadians and Canadians love me. I'm practically a Canadian. I mean, it's just a few miles over there. Josh Young, rookie. Cal Mitchell, man, oh man. 42 of 150. It's a guy we've seen this year, eh? See? Partly Canadian, eh? For Scott. Cards, cars, and guitars says, I moved to the USA just because of striker breaks. That's great. I need to be recognized by the government for that. Yeah, it's not so much the Canadians, it's the French that we don't trust. Pirates are bleeding into older sets. There's blood all over. Pirates blood everywhere. Come on! Bolty rookie. Jordan Walker rookie. How's Jordan Walker? And there's the negative. I knew we'd get a negative today. I said it earlier. You could tell by my face that I meant business. And I do. And I did. And we got it. Twenty twenty three Series One Blasters and twenty two Stadium Club Blasters for seventy each. Uh, I mean, twenty three Series One. Ugh, those are both bad boxes. 
Wait, does does Julio is Julio in regular stadium club? Twenty two, or was he? I didn't open a lot of that. If Julio and Bobby are in regular stadium club, then that's a good buy. But twenty three series one blasters were really bad. Just tough to get hits. They're, they made so many of them, and it was the worst format, blaster boxes. Nice hit, James Altman. Yeah, they were in that, then yeah, that's a good buy. For sure. That seems like... How are you getting such a deal? Did someone steal like a truck full of them? To me, that sounds like the stolen goods price. You make eye contact in the parking lot of like a Walmart and he's just like, for some reason you do, you go over there, opens up the trunk, loaded with baseball card boxes. You gotta, you gotta wonder, how, how did you attain these, good sir? But you can't ask that. It's, do you have cash? Do you take a personal check? He does not. One time I bought speakers out of some guy's trunk like that. I'll never do that again. Sometimes you got to learn a hard lesson. Gunner. Technicolor. It's a nice Adley. Prism rookie. I think I'm going to stack him up. With our 89 alley, like this. That's just where he should go. Yeah, I don't want to end up in the trunk with the cards, Jeff. That's right. Yeah, that was literally what happened with me and the speakers. Just made eye contact with the guy and he... Did one of those. I couldn't help myself. What's this all about? I live in a... <laughs> the town I live in is not uh, where you should... <laughs> it's fine around here, put it that way. Justin Steele. Not bad. Oh, no, 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 nothing good. It was nothing good. I just happened to need, it was actually home theater speakers. This was back, back in the day before the sound bar was invented. Where like a nice, you, you know, you had to get like one, two, three, four, five speakers. And then like a subwoofer for your home theater system. It was one of those in like a giant box. It was all there. They were just low quality speakers. But you get what you pay for. And I didn't pay very much. But they were junk. Look at this. If this, oh, if this was only Oh man, that'd be a hundred dollar. Hundred dollar. It's still going to be collectible because a lot of people turn these in. Chan, congratulations. Blue sonar. Sheesh. Brian Bayo, refractor.
How good of a poker player is 50 buck Chuck on a scale of one to 10? Hmm. Ten being like Doyle Brunson, or or ten being like a computer bot that has all the answers, like real life. Ten being Doyle Brunson, one being a baby. I like it. Hmm. Uh, Seven and a half to eight. It's definitely not bad. And he's better than all of you. He just doesn't play as much. Like if if fifty buck Chuck played more often, he'd probably be like a nine. He's got family. Can't be going gambling every night. Three autographs right here, right now. I don't, I'm not, I wouldn't even call myself a nine. I call myself like an eight. Which. Maybe I'm maybe maybe I'm only like a seven point five. I don't know. Yeah, no, Liam, it wasn't like that. It was like there's no like this is an X amount dollar speakers. I knew like what it should be going for. Like if you were to buy that same set from a Best Buy, it would have been like six hundred dollars, and I got it for like two hundred, something like that, you know. So it seemed like a good deal. It was just like an off brand I hadn't heard of. Christopher Torin. We got two hits in this one too. Diamondbacks hit for Eric. Followed by Green Lava. La Boy. Color match. A's. Going to Michael. And that beauty is numbered to 99. And we've got one more numbered hit. Luke Gold to 299. You're a 10 in my book. Well, I mean, it's just who... I'm trying to not get caught up in Dunning-Kruger where it's like you think you're better than you are because you're not good. So you don't really know that you're really not good. I'm aware of really good players and the best, and I actually study it and watch a lot of content, try to learn, try to play as much as I can, and I know how good the good players are. And I ain't there. You got to play a lot. You got to play every day. You got to like devote your life to it. Not only know the numbers behind every situation that you're in, but you get the instincts from playing. You get the gut. The gut is very important. Can't quantify it, but that comes from experience. Being in the same situations, knowing, knowing what players do in certain situations knowing how to react, how to bet, how much to bet. Not just like the math of the odds to get your pull, but like exactly how much to bet and exactly what situation. Most people don't take it to that level. Most people are just like, hey, there's an ace.
Corey Seager to 25. Five tool phenom. I haven't seen this hit yet, I don't think. Have we gotten a five tool phenom? We might have gotten one of these, but that's a tough pull. And that is a beautiful card. Five tool phenom on card auto. Corey Seager to 25 going to Texas. Sky getting the hits, buddy. And Max Meyer rookie autograph. Well, Travis, thanks for the subscribe. It's not often you get a subscribe from a live stream. The last box of the break coming up right now. And it's a definitive box. Hold on to your hats. I'm sure the hot bee's coming from there, although Corey Seager's going to temporarily take that. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's the box. We got to do something. We're going to do the full routine. I've got it all right here. Bud Seelig is going to sweep away all the bad luck with his hairpiece. The golds to 50. Three of them. The red to 10. One of them. A couple of Lucy's. Every surface. Come on, make this one count. Let's just give him a minute to soak in the good luck now that all the bad luck's gone. Jeffrey's predicting 100K by opening day. Let's go, Jeffrey. Hey, Fitzy. Yeah, at this point in my life, I only play Hold'em once a week. There have been times when I played a lot more. A lot more. Let's go. Let's do it. No more delays. frame in there oh and something we got some we got some stuff in here holy cow this is heavy i don't know what that bottom card is but it looks ridiculous i don't want to give it away okay it's not going to give it away oh man better be oh my gosh we got a booklet right on top this is, does everyone have a booklet? I don't remember. It's been a, we only opened a handful of these in the, throughout the year. Do we just start with the booklet on top? Okay. Mm, I need something, a cover card of some kind. There's not one between each, is there? No. Okay, remember, we have two people on the same card. It goes to the guy on the left or on the top. If it's a non-baseball player hit, we randomize it. Autograph patch collection book card. This is going to have a lot of guys on it. Jose Altuve, enormous. 
enormous game used patch auto going to the Astros. Anthony, is that thing numbered? It's got to be right. Did I miss a number on here? Oh, there it is. Two of five. Two of five. How do I display this? Hmm. Um. Just going to put it in here for now. Just to protect it on the stage. Can rewind. Check it out. How do you sleeve something like that? You don't you put it in a put it in one of those. I'll get some foam for the for the top or bottom or both for shipping purposes. Card number two to green. Miguel Vargas, rookie, definitive rookie to 25. Going to the Dodgers, Zach. Clean. It is sharp and centered as it should be. I mean, this is definitive rookie auto. I think we're looking at a hundred point top loader for that one. Yeah, they make booklet magnetics. Yeah. I don't own any booklets personally. Like whoever uh they're gonna have to take care of that on the, their own. I'll get it to you in one piece though. this goes okay 14 of 40 rod carew going to eric game used swatch auto definitive auto relic It's 130 point. Rod Carew. Angel style for Eric. It's a thin one. What is this? Julio. Whoa. This almost looks like uh, one of the true photo variations. Nothing going on on the borders. Julio Rodriguez defining images. Man, I have not seen one like that, but we will take it. Seattle Castulo. Nice hit. Mm, definitive. Mm. <laughs> and we got more. And there's something huge on the bottom. One, two, three, four. Where'd that thing go? Oh, it's on. There it is. Okay, gold frame auto. Is 
three of 10. Sideways. Austin Riley with a triple color patch and a number inscription. Dang. Framed auto patch card. Going to Chan. Very nice. Man, this thing weighs like half a pound. Young Thick. Gonna have a year. This is one of the guys I'm targeting in my fantasy draft. I gotta whisper because I don't want anybody to know. Because then they'll bid me up. There's more. Three more hits. Another sideways one. What do we have? Oh, it's a double. Double Boston hit. Dustin Pedroia and Jason Veritek to 35. <laughs> you just... You don't get stuff like this unless you open a box like this. Hilton. Dual auto collection. Two legendary Red Sox. Looking at a hundred point for that. Two left. The blue Suzuki, four of thirty. Big boy for Ryan. Hundred eighty? No, hundred thirty. The last one. Okay. Sandy Alcantara. 30 of 50. There's 50 of these? What is that? Helmet collection. Alcantara's helmet. Interesting. He, it's game use, too. He's not doing a lot of batting these days. I don't think this is going to fit in any kind of top loader that I have either. That's going to have to go in its own special... Special one of these. Okay, that is it. Let's look at the hits one more time. Sandy Alcantara's batting helmet. Game used, 30 of 50. I would rather our relic, because you're going to get two relics, so I would rather have a crazy unique relic like that. Suzuki with a normal one, 4 of 30. There's our two relics. Pedroia and Veritek to 35 dual auto. Austin Riley, patch auto. With inscription, 21, 3 of 10, triple color, framed auto. Julio Rodriguez, and that is a defining image. Yes, it is. Rod Carew, 14 of 40. Relic auto, Vargas, rookie auto, with his number, 
numbered to 25. We got a patch. Let's, let's pull it out of there and get one last look at it. Autograph patch collection booklet of El Tube. Game used. Numbered to five. Justin Steele, rookie auto. LaBoy, first to 99. Gold to 299. Torin, first. Decent sig, too. Max Meyer, five star rookie auto. Corey Seeger, seven of 25. Five tool phenom. Tommy Hawk, first auto. Alex Clemmy to 50. Xavier Isaac to 99. Cal Mitchell, 150, rookie. Yastrzemski, negative. James Outman, rookie auto. Acuna to 125. Honeyman, first refractor auto to 499. Max Clark Glass. Cade Denton, purple, first to 250. Enrique Bradfield Jr. to 99. We got Adrian Santana to 75. And to 99. Adley, Prism. Ellie. Carico. Curi first auto. And that, my friends, will do it. What a Wednesday. Midweek mixers. Not sure if Archive Signature Series is going to be a thing for Friday. So this might be the only breaks of the week. I'm not really sure. But we're definitely going to have a lot coming up with Bowman Inception and Archive Signature Series, then Big League, then Heritage, then Bowman. Lots of baseball card releases coming up. Make sure you like, subscribe.